time for a color palette pyramid. I did a color review on Indigo Batik by Sherwin Williams. And today I'm gonna to present you with a color palette that I made specifically utilizing it. And what's great is this is no ordinary color palette. This is a paint people palette pyramid. Our method of arranging colors together in a top down fashion that I think is extremely versatile and easy to use. If you haven't seen our introductory palette pyramid video, I'll leave it in the cards up top and in the description down below. But for everyone else, for all my awesome subscribers and my loyal Patreon, members you already know so let's get into it so of course palette pyramid you got your main colors support colors and finishing colors let's start with indigo batik because this is the color in question where does it fit in this particular pyramid well spoiler alert it's not the main color it is not even a support color it is going to be a finishing color so in the bottom row of colors in this palette indigo batik is going to act as an accent color it's going to accentuate certain things in your home whether it would be an accent wall in your most standard kind of go-to use case for accent colors or things like furniture, vanities, built-ins, cabinets, maybe even an accent ceiling if you're feeling frisky. Indigo Batik is an awesome navy blue. It has a slightly denim feeling to it, a very dark denim. And of course, if you want to see the full review on it, I'll put it at the end of the video or you can check the cards up top as well. So because we started with the finishing colors for this video, let's continue on with our next one, which is Foothills. This is a beautiful, dark, taupey brown. This really reminds me of the color of like a boulder, like a nice earthy stone type of coloration, combining some brown, some gray, maybe a touch of green as well. Earthy colors like this can sometimes have the slightest bit of a green undertone, but really that's just the combination of the warm brown and the gray kind of interacting, giving it that earthy quality. I do find this to be a fairly neutral color, even though it is dark. So even though it's technically one of your finishing colors, this is probably gonna be your most passive or safe option within the neutral color palette. So let's say you started with Indigo Batik on an accent wall and you really love that blue, but then you were just kind of thinking of switching it up and maybe you wanted something a little more desaturated, but still having a lot of depth. Well, Foothills is a perfect substitution for that. I find it's going to work a little bit better with other colors because it is part of the neutral family. It does have some flexibility and versatility to it while still giving you some oomph. The third finishing color in this palette pyramid is going to be probably the most exciting one, maybe the most polarizing one. It is one of Sherwin Williams's timeless colors. It is called Tatami Tan. Now this is a tan color that has a lot of this golden bronzy orange almost. It has quite a bit of vibrancy to it, very punchy color, especially when you compare it to a more traditional soft neutral tan. This one is bringing the heat. It has a lot of zing to it, which I think is awesome. Looks really good with Indigo Patik as well if you have just a little bit of this color and a lot more of that blue. But I think this is an awesome finishing color if you really want a nice nice, strong statement, or maybe just a small percentage of the overall color palette. You want something to really stand out. Just maybe with one little end table that you're repainting or refinishing. This will cut through all the other colors in the palette. Moving on up the pyramid, we have our supporting colors. Now these are going to be your secondary colors that are going to be supporting your main color. They'll also be your second most used colors in the whole palette. Essentially anywhere you're not using your main color and your finishing colors, the support colors are going to slot right in. To start with, I want to give you a great baseboard color a trim color. This is called White Snow. White Snow has a lot of cleanliness to it. It is sleek. It has a 90 LRV, so very bright. It's going to contrast with a number of different paint colors on the walls, which I think is a good thing. And it's also part of the Emerald Designer Edition collection. So it's one of their newer colors, their newer releases. Very minimal, very modern, very sleek, very contemporary. I like it. Now, what about a wall color to sort of support your whole color palette? I think a good option is Patience. And also you're going to need a bit of Patience because the main color. The one that ties it all together is coming up in a little bit. <laughs> Patience is an awesome neutral beige that's described as having a tan neutral. It does have that base where there's a little bit of brown, maybe a bit of gold and orange hiding in the background very, very slightly, which is going to tie in beautifully with the other colors, especially those finishing colors we talked about. It also has a 67 LRV, so a decent amount of depth to it. It has some richness. It's not going to be completely pastel and washed out. I think in areas that you want a little bit of noticeable warmth, a little bit of color, this is a great option for you. But it's not my main color. My main color is going to be the pinnacle of this palette pyramid. It's gonna tie everything together. This is going to be your default color that you can use pretty much anywhere on the walls within this palette. Hallway colors, living room colors, if you wanted to continue it into some bedrooms, I don't see a reason why you shouldn't or couldn't. The main color is going to be incredible white. And this is not going to be your traditional white that is very bright and clean. This is more of an off-white. It has a 
74 LRV. So it only reflects about three quarters of the light that hits it, which makes it pretty light, but not insanely bright. Incredible White also has a little bit of a coolness without feeling blue. So just a mellowed out, clean, slightly earthy gray color that I really enjoy. Extremely versatile. And what's great is it's gonna harmonize with the other choices we've talked about. It's gonna connect all those dots because we had some warm options. We've also had some cooler options, especially with Indigo Batik. So Incredible White at the top of the pyramid to sort of tie everything together really nicely. So this is the palette all together. Please let me know what you think. We've got a bit of a hot and cold theme here. And hey, why don't you check this one out next?